Hi everyone. Um, it's Wednesday night. It's the night before Thanksgiving and uh, I just got done making my pumpkin cheesecake and I thought now would be a good time to do some YouTube business. Um, I was tagged to do the sweater weather tag by one of my subbies, Amanda from Fab TV. First Hi question. Amanda. Or the first thing is favorite candle scent. Okay. Um, I don't, I haven't been using candles a lot lately. Um, but I've been using either incense or melts and melts. You put them in a glass thing and you put a tea light underneath it and, uh, it melts. It's like wax, hard wax, like a candle with no wick and you put a tea light under it and it melts the wax. I think they smell amazing. Um, my favorite scent back when I first bought it, I don't think it was called this. But it was from um, a company called Par Party Light. My sister-in-law used to be a and, representative. Um, my them. favorite one, na I had to go onto the website because I don't have the box anymore. I still have one of the melts that, I keep, that I'm still using, but I can't remember the name of it. So I looked around, and this the closest one I could find is called Hocus Pocus. And it's described as... Um, uh, is a citrusy and floral blend with an unexpected hint of coconut and praline and um it just it smells amazing it's my it's my favorite all year round i don't burn it just you know during the fall or anything um i've been using it for a long time the next one is coffee tea or hot chocolate well i coffee absolutely coffee i've been drinking coffee since i was like five um, so coffee um, is definitely best my fall favorite. memory. Okay. A million years ago, when I was young, like, I don't know, maybe 11 or 12, Tampa, I, live, I was born and raised in Tampa, Florida, and we finally got a football team, the Buccaneers. They were horrible. I mean, horrible. But I can remember back then, um, I was like 11 or 12. My brother is four years younger than I am. So our team was so bad. My dad used to take us to the stadium on Sunday and go up to the ticket window and he could buy tickets to the game for $6 each. So every home game in the early years of the Bucks, we went to every single home game. So my brother and I came up with this brilliant idea that we would make our own confetti. And so we would go around the house finding magazines and newspapers and any kind of paper that my mom would let us, you know, cut up. And we would spend hours making paper bags full of confetti. And I mean the big grocery, like when you used to go to the grocery store and you get the big paper bags, we would fill those with confetti. Back then you could take bags into the, into the um, stadium. They'd want to see what was in it, but they ne we never had a problem bringing confetti into the stadium. So we thought, okay, every time they score, we're going to throw confetti. Well, we went home quite often with a bag full of confetti. So we started coming up with other reasons to throw the confetti. If they scored a field, if they kicked a field goal, we would throw it. If they got a first down, we would throw it. If um, the other team got a penalty, we, we would throw it. If uh, somebody fell down, we, we would throw I mean, it was, we just started throwing it for no reason, really. Because if not, we would never throw it. But it, it's one of my best fall memories. It, it was a lot of fun back then. The next one is, which makeup trend do you prefer? Dark lips or winged liner? Um, I have to go with winged the liner. The next one is, favorite Thanksgiving food? Mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, mashed potatoes. I will take mashed potatoes over french fries. The day. next one is, scarves or hats? Well, we live in Florida. I don't think I've ever worn a scarf. Maybe when I was little, you know, my mom thought it was cute or whatever. I've, I, as an adult, I've never worn a scarf. I don't own any scarves right now. So I guess I would have to go with hats, but I don't wear hats either, really. I have two hats. Um, they're both baseball caps and they're both football hats. I have a Tampa Bay Buccaneer hat and then I have a hat of my second favorite football team, which is the Oakland Raiders, yes. The Oakland Raiders so, is my second okay, favorite. The next one is most worn sweater. <sighs> I don't own any sweaters. Well, that's not exactly true. I did buy a cardigan recently. 
It's a very light, open cardigan. There's no buttons, no sash, nothing like that. It's very, very light. It's long sleeve. Um, but I bought it to wear over a dress or, you know, anything dressy because uh, normally I don't, you know, I don't own any sweaters. I don't own any outer wear sweaters or sweater sweaters. So when it gets chilly in Florida, I wear flannel shirts or hoodies. If it's really cold, I'll wear a hoodie. I also wear sports jerseys because any other time it is too hot to wear these things. I end up wearing, I'll wear these maybe once or twice a year. If I'm lucky, maybe five times a year. You know, it's just, I'm hot natured and it's, I can never wear my, my, um, my football jerseys or hockey jerseys in this case. The next one is favorite fall nail polish. Okay, well, when I think of fall nail polish, I'm thinking um, deep tones, like, you know, red, orange, gold, and not, not bright orange, like a, you know, fall orange, <laughs> pumpkin, or, you know, whatever, golds, things like that. So, uh, so right now, my favorite is from Julep. It's called, the name of it is Zelda. And let me see here. It's, I don't know if that's coming across on camera. I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing it right now. Um, it's like a rose gold, or I might even, I can almost consider this champagne. But this is my favorite fall color right now. Football game or jumping in leaf piles. I don't think I've ever jumped in a leaf pile, actually. I've jumped in sand piles being in Florida, but never a leaf pile. So I'd have to go with football games. I love football, actually. So the next one is leggings or skinny jeans. Okay, I'm more mature. You know, I'm like of a mature age. And um, back in the day, skinny jeans, that's, I would, all I wore was jeans back then. Now, leggings. They're a lot more forgiving. They're way more comfortable. So I'm a leggings girl. The next one is combat boots or Uggs. I've never owned any Uggs. I think they're cute, and they look really good with certain outfits. I've never owned any. I still don't own any, and I probably won't ever own any. I think my feet would sweat if I wear them. It's just not cold enough to wear those kind of shoes here. And combat boots, I've worn combat boots, and they are probably the second most uncomfortable shoe I have ever tried to wear. Cowboy boots are the worst for me. They are so uncomfortable, and combat boots are second. They're, they're just, I just don't like them. I think they're cute and they look great with certain outfits and they look really good with camouflage, like army, you know, soldiers look good in them. I Next don't like question. <clears throat> Number one favorite thing about fall. I have like four things that are pretty equal. Um, the colder weather when we eventually get it football and hockey season and time change. Um, if I have to pick one though, I'd have to go with, time, with the time change. We go, we stop daylight savings in the fall. We go back to real, real time or normal time or whatever you want to call it. Um, I cannot stand daylight savings time. I hate it. I mean, I, I really hate it. In the, in the spring when we have to move our clocks forward, that's daylight savings and I can't stand it. I never get used to it. My body never adjusts. I just, I, I really can't. I wish they would just leave our time alone. Why do we have to do that? I, I don't, you know, we have electricity now. We don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> I, it just really irks me. I can't stand it. Yeah, so I think going back to getting off of daylight savings time, that would be my favorite, my number one favorite thing about fall. And last but not least, what do you want to be for Halloween? Kind of late for that, but this Halloween, I was a zombie hunter. My daughter was a zombie and she wanted to do something quirky or fun for Halloween. So I dressed up like a zombie hunter or what I thought a zombie hunter would look like. And we, we took some pictures. We did our, you know, our little weird gamer family zombie thing, I guess. And it was a lot of fun, actually. The pictures um, came out. But there is one thing that I've been trying to get my family to do for years now. I would say at least 10 years. And that is to have my, 
immediate family, my husband, my two sons, my daughter, and myself, dress up like the Adams family. I think that would be so awesome. My two older, my, my oldest son and my youngest son, they, they will not do it. They refuse. Every single year, they refuse. My daughter wants to do it, and my husband, he doesn't really care. He'll, he'll do whatever. He'll, he, he won't dress up, or he will. If I want to, he will. So, and um, I know most people would be thinking, okay, so you're, you're the mom. You would be um, Morticia. No, I don't want to be Morticia. I want to be Fester. <laughs> that, he's my favorite Adam's Family character. I want to get the bald cap and the whole, and do my eyes real dark. I want to be Fester. That's who I would want to be. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. So, but it, that's what I want to be for Halloween. So that's it for the sweater weather tag. And um, I want to say thanks for watching. Welcome to my new subscribers. And um, again, please have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching.